Okay, so we all know TikTok does things sometimes that is uh, not considered fantastic, and this next trend is just bonkers. I guess Hyundai and Kia, two car companies, didn't really do enough due diligence when it comes to the ability to turn the car on, and it's possible to turn it on with like a USB drive, you don't need the key. Someone figured this out, started making TikToks about it, and the internet being the internet, you can't really control who sees what you post. And some unsavory people ended up seeing it and using this little trick to steal people's cars. And so now there's going to be a class action lawsuit against Hyundai and Kia, which makes sense to me. Like, as a car company, you just kind of got to make sure people can't get in and start the car without the key. That's like your only job. But I think it's especially stupid that we're living in a day and age where if somebody wanted to commit Grand Theft Auto, they wouldn't actually need to know anything about cars. They could just go take a look at the latest TikTok trend. Victims of TikTok Kia Challenge sue Kia and Hyundai after wave of car thefts. Car thefts were already up this year anyways, if I understand what's going on correctly, but yeah, obviously if there's some huge viral trend where everybody starts learning how to turn on a car without the key and get it to run, people are going to use it to steal cars. Is that right? No, obviously you shouldn't go steal people's cars, but people do it. People have been stealing cars since they started existing, even without a quick little five minute craft life hack on how to get it started. Now you just tell people in like a 15 second video, what's up guys, it's your boy KiaFan87, here to show you how to steal any Kia. Boom, there you go. You go downtown, you can probably steal 15 Kias in an afternoon. I think they're gonna have to settle, but the better question would be, what do they really do to fix it? It's not like cars are at the point where you can send out a software update to prevent someone from being able to do this. So you just kind of have to keep rolling around in this car that you know at any point anyone who's been on TikTok could just get into, get to run and steal. That's got to make you feel great, you know? You park in a huge parking lot. Well, I hope the car is here when you get back. Every time you come out, you're not sure if you forgot the parking spot or if your car got stolen, because it really could go either way. It's a coin flip. Back in July 2022, the Kia Challenge surfaced as the latest viral trend on TikTok, resulting in car thefts across the USA. The trend began after a creator on the app uploaded a video showing how he started his Kia by only using a USB cable, and others quickly realized it worked on Hyundai vehicles as well. Both companies responded in early September, but now victim of the trend, and are suing the automotive giants. Why would you make a video telling everybody how to start your car without the key? I feel like that's one of those things if I was ever goofing off and managed to start my car with a USB, I would just be like, oh crap, that's not good. I wouldn't make a video and tell everyone about it. I would hope nobody ever found that out. How ironic would it be if the guy who made the video telling everybody how to do it, like his car ended up getting stolen as a part of the challenge? I don't hope that happened. I hope he still got his car. But he's the guy that posted the video telling everyone how to do it and then his car goes missing. Oh no, how'd that happen? Maybe if you wouldn't have told everyone how to get the car started without the key, it wouldn't be a possibility. Usually lawsuits in America, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, that's frivolous and dumb. We're a very litigious country. We like to sue people. It's our favorite pastime. I throw it up there with baseball and football. Lawsuits. But this one seems pretty justified. If I spend like 20 grand on a car and you tell me it's safe and great and then come to find out anyone can steal it with a USB stick, yeah, I feel like that's kind of uh, some false advertising going on. If I think it's cool and then come to find out anyone can take it, that's, that's a little bit of a misleading situation. It'll be interesting to see what they do to fix it. Like, that's what I'm really curious to see what goes down is like, how do you fix it? Do you have everyone bring in their millions of Kias that exist and just change it because you were dumb and didn't double check? Is this going to become a standard test in the automotive industry? Can we start it with the phone charger in the car? Yes or no? We have to figure it out. 